Hey there, this is Lula LV. Today we're reviewing Louis Vuitton's Women's Spring Summer 2024 show. This show was just presented in Paris on October 2nd. And before we get into the fashion and the bags, which is what you're all here for, I always like to start my show reviews by talking a little bit about the set design. This set was designed by James Chinland. He's designed a few sets for Louis Vuitton runway shows recently, including this recreation of a Parisian street for the fall-winter 2023 collection. This was just presented about six months ago inside the Musée d'Orsay. He also designed this installation featuring a massively oversized flower for the spring-summer 2023 show. This was one of my favorite shows in recent history for Louis Vuitton, and seeing what James Chinland has accomplished in the past for runway shows, seeing this set was really quite surprising to me, and I was really disappointed in it because it was a little too minimalistic and pared back for my taste. According to Louis Vuitton, this set was meant to mimic the inside of a hot air balloon, which I honestly didn't get from looking at this set. And to me, it looks like the building was not finished to the point that it should have been for this show. And basically, they just needed to cover up the building. That's my own personal take on what this looks like. I don't know if that's true or not. But now that we've talked about this set and set the scene, so to speak, let's dive into the fashion for this show. As far as fashion among the show attendees, the real star was house ambassador Zendaya in this custom Louis Vuitton gown. Of course, it was absolutely stunning and she looked fabulous in it. We saw a lot of other looks from the recent fall, winter, and pre-fall 2023 collections. All of the looks here are from the fall, winter collection, and these were just released and are currently available in boutiques right now. These looks are from the Cruise Collection, which should be launching, I believe, next month in November. And for bags, the most popular one seen everywhere was the brand new reissued Atlantis. Now let's go through some of the looks in this collection presented by creative director Nicolas Jasquier. I will primarily be focusing on the ready-to-wear and bags. The ready-to-wear, as seen here in the opening looks, was very romantic, light, airy, flowing, and just had a very easy elegance to it. Here's a closer look at some of the ready-to-wear from the Reese event for show attendees after the show had concluded. The opening looks were all paired with a pochette, as seen here in monogram canvas, sequins, as well as exotic leather. This looks like a new pochette to me, but if it's not, please correct me in the comments. Here's a closer look at it in monogram canvas. Here's a look at the black pochette with sequins. This looked really beautiful and intricate. And finally, here's one in a shiny orange exotic leather. I really enjoyed the details on this pochette. The side panel is shaped like the Louis Vuitton leather zipper pull, and I just really loved that they took something like the shape of a zipper pull and incorporated it into the design of this pochette. These next two looks are two of my favorites from this show. Here's look seven. It's very classic yet elevated with impeccable tailoring and you see this oversized belt, which was shown again and again on the runway. And here we have look eight, which is soft and feminine yet edgy. It's a very simple dress, but again, the details and tailoring are really what elevates this look. And I think it really encapsulates this collection very well. Going back to the bags, there was a lot of monogram on this runway. I was actually a little surprised by how many monogram canvas bags 
were paired with these looks on the runway. Let's take a closer look at them now. There were a few square bags. Here we see one in look six, which looks to be a new shape to me. And here's a closer look at that bag from the Reese event. I think if this bag makes it into stores, it will be very popular. As well as a square bag in look 18. That square bag, I believe, was recently launched in other collections as well. And here's a closer look at the very adorable mini papillon trunk. There were also several bags in monogram canvas covered with travel patches or travel stamps. Here we see one example. This is the side trunk that was shown in look 22 on the runway. Here's a speedy bandolier as seen at the Reese event after the show. I'm not sure what size this speedy is. I think maybe it's a speedy 25. But if you look closely at the canvas, this looks to me like it has a crosshatch design on it or a crosshatch texture, which we generally don't see on the monogram canvas. So I'm thinking this might be a new or a different canvas. Let me know what you think of it. Another bag we saw in both leather and monogram canvas was this new silhouette for the Dauphine, very oversized and slouchy. Here it is in leather on the runway, as well as in monogram canvas at the Reese event. Now, compare this monogram canvas to the one that we just saw with the travel stamps, and let me know if you think it's the same or different. This Dauphine came in many other colors at the Reese event, a nice caramel color, black as well as white. Let me know if you think this new silhouette for the Dauphine will be popular or not. I have a feeling it's also going to be really expensive. Speaking of expensive bags, we have another classic bag, the Alma, in a new silhouette. Again, like the Dauphine, very oversized, very slouchy. We saw this a lot on the runway in both regular leather as seen here in black, beige, and navy. We also saw this bag in alligator or crocodile. I apologize. I'm not quite sure. Here we see it in the runway. And I also wanted to point out these new bags were also paired with the new tambour watch on the runway. That stuck out to me as well. Here we see the close-up of the exotic leather new Alma Hobo. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it's called, but that's what I will be calling it. Here's a close-up at the Reese event. You can also see the construction of this bag better in the photo on the right. I'm not sure if this bag will make it into production, into stores or not. This collection should be coming into stores around six months from now. That would be around March of 2024. And we should find out more information regarding prices and what pieces will be produced then. Here's another new bag that, again, I don't know if it will be produced. I really loved this bag. I thought it was really cool and unique. To me, it almost looks like a folded umbrella upside down that hasn't been closed all the way. I just think it's really fun and really quite different and inventive. So I liked that piece a lot. The new bag that was touted a lot by Louis Vuitton before the show is this new LV circle bag. Here it is in the runway in both black and white leather as well as a monogram canvas. This, especially the one on the left, is quite literally the LV circle monogram with a small hole cut in the top to use as a handle. That is it. It is very literally the Louis Vuitton logo. I shared a photograph of this bag on my Instagram stories prior to the show and I asked people for their opinions on it and most people said they didn't like it. It was too loud and some people even said it was tacky. Here's a closer look at the construction of the bag. You can see a little slip pocket in the back. When you open it up, there is a magnetic closure and a Vachetta leather crossbody strap. Very unique. There were quite a few unique bags on this runway, including two camera bags that are quite literally cameras made out of monogram canvas with a leather trim. 
Interestingly, we also saw a lot of cameras on the Chanel Spring Summer 24 runway as well. Here's another camera bag as seen on the runway in look 10. Here's a photo of that camera bag at the Reese event. And when you open it up, this is actually a trunk. So here is someone removing the bag from the holster, if you will. There's an S-lock on the top of the bag, and it does actually open up to be a small trunk inside. I thought that was really cool and unique that it is actually functional. Now let's go back to the runway. Here we have some looks with tweed. Very elevated and elegant. These were, of course, paired with the new Go 14. This is one of Nicolas Josquier's first bags that he designed for Louis Vuitton back in 2014. It's recently been re-released, and this is being pushed by Louis Vuitton as their new It bag. Here it is in a new colorway with some looping around the piping, as you can see here. This was okay, but it was nothing super exciting to me. Towards the end of the show, we saw a lot of color in the leather goods, and this really popped against the primarily black and white ready-to-wear in these later looks. We saw a lot in orange leather as well as exotic leather. Let's take a closer look at these bags. There was a very cute north-south um, BB or mini Alma on the left. There was a new style square bag as well as a new style vanity pouch. This reminds me a lot of the really popular Laura Piano pouch that has been one of the really popular it bags of 2023. Here we see a Louis Vuitton version in exotic leather. Here's a closer look at that North South Alma. I did also notice this same bag in monogram canvas in some of the Reese photos. Before we wrap up, let's take a look at just a couple of the ready-to-wear looks that I really liked. These didn't have any bags paired with them, but I loved the sequins, and I also loved the cut and the ruching on these skirts as well. I thought these were really gorgeous looks. Here we see the one in black and white, and I just really loved the sequins, the shine, super fun. I also loved these two looks with these very flowy, billowy corset tops paired with high-waisted pants and suspenders. I don't think this will be very wearable or popular in the stores, but as runway designs, I really loved these pieces. I thought they were kind of unique and fun. I loved the pops of color in the shirts as well. And these were just absolutely stunning in terms of jewelry. I loved these two looks towards the end of the show. And let's take a close up at them. I mean, the tailoring on this is just absolutely divine. And look at that necklace. Let's take a closer look now. Look at all of the jewels just completely encrusted. This is a really, really gorgeous piece of jewelry. Here's how all the looks were displayed at the Reese event afterwards. There were a few bags at the Reese that weren't on the runway. Let's take a look at them now. One was this really cool side trunk in Damier canvas. And again, like the canvas we saw earlier with the travel stamps on it, this does not look like your classic Damier Azor canvas to me. This almost looks like a patent leather. Speaking of side trunks, there were a few at the Reese event in leather, a really gorgeous pebbled leather in black and white, so we can expect to see more of those. There were also more Go 14s on display. The two we saw earlier on the runway, as well as two other ones in beige and white on the left. There were a lot of hard-sided at the Reese event as well. Here's a really cute round vanity case. We also saw a really cute little clutch that to me almost looks like a Rubik's Cube. Here we see it paired with a gorgeous silver monogram canvas trunk and this is a really show-stopping piece. I absolutely love this trunk. I think it is so cool. Let's take a look now at the other hard-sided pieces at the Reese event. We have the triumphal arch in the front with the Alma trunk in the back. 
I really love this Alma trunk. Here we see it paired with a crystal gold and silver Alma. How stunning and cool is that design? I have a feeling it's going to be really expensive, but let's just admire how beautiful it is. Here's details on the Alma trunk. We do already have an item ID and a price for this. This Alma trunk will be priced at 9,900 euro. Here's a closer look at the arch trunk. And we do have some photos of the inside. Really pretty with all these drawers that pull out. 32,000 euro. A show-stopping piece with a show-stopping price to match. And finally, there is a blooming box. I really love this one. This is priced at 15,000 euro. Unfortunately, it does come with this handle that is not removable. Now, that's everything we have to go over for the show. Please definitely comment below. I would love to know your thoughts on this show. Again, these pieces should be releasing in about six months from now, around March 2024. I will do an updated video once we have all the information on which pieces we can expect to see in store along with prices. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and come back every Friday for new videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.